In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Cast in Blood uh, lucky, uh, crate uh, with the I think it's the Epic Zane skin and the um, and the Echo skin, but of course, and it also has a couple of other skins like the M13. So yeah, if you do go and enjoy the video, of course, make sure to uh, like and subscribe. And um, we're not actually going to be using the Echo as I've used the Echo recently, and um, I don't think it's worth using it again. So we're actually going to be using the uh, so if you want M13, no, that's that's the other. Uh, the other uh, gun in the crate, and that's the gun we're going to be using for the gameplay. So, of course, make sure to stay tuned to the end for that. And let's get into the crate. Today's day shout out goes to Tribal Zombie. They only have 39 subscribers, so yeah, uh, they, they have the price of a decent amount of videos to be fair. Um, but yeah, they are mainly immortal life videos. So yeah, if you do go over and enjoy any of the videos, then of course, make sure to uh, like their videos and subscribe to their uh, subscribe to the channel, of course. And yeah. Um, make sure, of course, yeah, to also leave some positive comments if there's anything they're doing correctly, of course, let them know and crouch at them. If there's anything that they could improve, of course, um, leave some positive comments on how they can improve instead of being um, um, un unnecessarily um, negative and stuff. So, yeah, also, there we leave, there, of course, I'll leave them down below in the description and up on the screen here. Yeah, make sure to go over, like, and subscribe, and leave, be supportive. And let's get into the crate. Okay, so here we are in the crate section. As you can see, here is the uh, cast case. Cast in blood crate, and um, as you can see, uh, I don't, I don't know when I actually did any of these, but apparently I've already done nine of these. So the next one is a guaranteed epic. Hopefully, it's uh, somewhat good. Um, yeah, I was, I, I, I was planning on making something about, about something on this crate earlier, but I just did, never got around to it. So yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look. We're going to do uh, the, the crate coupons. I haven't got the prize fighters on this. Not the best, and uh, we're going to do one more, and we get the. So we already own apparently, it's the um, Mutation Spray. So here is the, uh, let's go character skin first. Uh, the character skin's actually, um, I like it, I like it. It's not one of my, not, not kind of my style, it's more of a realistic style, so a nice and colourful style. Um, it's going to get a 6.5 to 7 out of 10 from me. I, I do like it, it's kind of cool, but just not really my style of skin honestly, so yeah. Um, it's a little very interesting and I would, um, yeah, if you like model realistic turns, again, I would recommend getting this. Then here is the um, here is the uh, Echo Shotgun, uh, Echo Engraved. It's actually a really clean skin. Of course, again, not too many colours on it, but the colours go really well together. And there's a, some cool patterns on it. Although, uh, again, not the not too. I shall say, streaming, isn't it? Um, yeah, there's some cool patterns on it. Um, it's a bit bland, honestly, and it's very, very chunky as well. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the outside looks like, um, but I'm going to have to give it a 6 or 5 out of 10. Not honestly, not one of the best skins. Then here is the M13 skin, and then this, is, this is the same skin as all the rest of the uh, mid-tier um, epic skins. Honestly, it might be, even be better than the uh, than, than the main uh, the main epic skin, which is the Echo. Uh, yeah, it actually looks quite uh, quite nice. Uh, I still again clean with the white, um, but that actually has some animation in it. So yeah, definitely really really nice. Um, I'm going to give it a six, uh, a seven out of ten, and that's the same goes for the rest of these. So we have the D13 sector. and then we have the boxing gloves. Then we have, of course, the smoke grenade and the knife skin. Then here is the spray. Eh, all right, not one of my favorites, honestly. Probably about five out of ten. And then they're gonna have five out of ten for that. Here's the emote. About six out of ten. Five out of ten. Not really the best, honestly. So it's about a very major crate. Going to give it a seven, six out of ten in terms of the crate. Uh, here are the odds after my draws. So we've got a zero point three three for the both the two main ones. Then for the, all the rest of them, we have a zero point five five odds. All of them, and they are one point one one odds and a one. So a one percent odds. Okay, yeah. So I'm just going to let you look for invite this and them out. So yeah. Now let's get into uh, the training mode where I'm going to show you off. Oh, I don't know what we'll use. I might use the uh, M13 instead of the Echo because the Echo is a bit meh. Oh, actually, we might, we might use the Echo. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. 
Okay, we are in the training mode. As you can see, I have the M13 equipped. Of course, I have the uh, Morningstar variant. Um, as you can see, especially on this skin, uh, eye types are impeccable. Um, one, of the best, one of, if not the best, in the game uh, currently. Um, Yeah, but in, t in terms of in general, of the M13 eyesight aren't the best, but they're definitely not the worst. So one of them are 7 out of 10 in terms of eyesight. And as you just saw, that, it's not, it hasn't got the worst hit path for accuracy, and the recoil is very, un very manageable. Um, from, what I've been, from what I've seen from my playing from with this, it's definitely more of a long range beam than I uh, than out, than out close monster. But yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's been too bad to use. Um, it's just more, more of a passive build gun, which isn't, which isn't the best for me. So I've. Um, so yeah. But definitely when you do hit when you do hit your shots it's a very good but um, actually it's slightly less punishing when if you don't if you do miss a couple of shots because of that faster firing. Although the fourth round may can be sometimes be um be a bit small if you are firing at at, at at the longer ranges of course. So yeah, let, let's um, let's check out the pit as we're actually in the recoil first. Okay, so it's, about, it's actually not as good as I thought, it's kind of like, actually more than just going to give it a 5 out of 10 for um, hit fights for accuracy. And here's the recoil. So yeah, as you can see, absolutely, um, pretty much no horizontal recoil, pretty, pretty much all vertical, which makes it um, super easy to control. All you have to do is really, is really pull down the zone, there is a slight bit of a kick to it, um, which I guess makes it up for a faster fire rate. But, but overall, it's a great, definitely an 8, 8, 7, uh, 7 out to 8 out of 10 for, the, for that uh, recoil. Okay, let's actually test out the range on this thing, shall we? Okay, so here are of course the damage numbers. So out close it does 36, 24, oh, that's 24 all the way up. Right. Yeah, 24 way up and it's 36 to the head. So it's guaranteed four shots as long as you get one headshot. Which is pretty good considering the increased fire rate. I think that's one, one off if not the fastest fire rate and the AR in the game. So it's got more like a, it's more like a, um, a slightly longer range. Uh, something here, yeah. Yeah, decent damage up close, and then let's see how how far it goes before dropping off. 24, 36. As you can see, it's the same damage even out here. So yeah, definitely more of a, definitely more of a range damage. As like no damage drop off. It's very um very consistent damage. I would say so that's why that's why it beams so well at longer ranges. It, it can keep somewhat compete with stuff like the Greek. If you delve after that, in general, if you just hit your shots. Um, of course, um, the, the time shot does drop off, not as significantly as it would with other guns. And then it goes down to 18 and 27. It's not too much to drop, honestly. Especially with that fire rate, it's definitely um, one of the easier ones to uh, hit consistently. And it actually has decent bullet threat accuracy as well. So, um, yeah, you don't have to worry about, um, I don't have to worry about that. Okay, let's actually test out the range of this thing now. That was probably like four or five shot right there. Once my axe was any good, I would be able to hit all of these. But hey, hey. As you see, yeah, very, very, in fact, definitely very consistent in the uh, the range department. I've actually hit some really nice beams with this thing. It can help out quite a lot, most most of the guns. For example, the ICR, the ICR felt really good at, long, at longer ranges, but this map absolutely outgun it. And it, it, I find it, even find it pretty cool, like I said, with the quick six at longer ranges sometimes. And then of course the Q, actually, and then of course the Kilo is its main rival. Um, I would say um, the Kilo is probably easier to hit three shots, but this is more consistent and better for like uh, beginner players who aren't really to move on to the Kilo yet. Need something that's not slightly more forgiving if they need to cover bullets. So yeah, overall, I would definitely recommend giving this out this, this sort of one of a go if you're tired, if you like more of a passive player and you're tired of like Holgers and um, Craigs 
and um, Halo as well. Then I definitely give this one a try. Of course, most people probably already have. And had had a test of all of this, so yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's that. And let's get, let's get on to the uh, let's go on to the uh, the ranked gameplay now, shall we? Okay, so here is my M13 loadout. As you can see, it's more of a uh, nice range build, as the M13, of course, is better at the longer ranges. So yeah, we have the RTC heavy uh, long barrel for the minus 7.8% ADS bullet spread, plus 35% damage at range, minus 6.56% horizontal recoil, and minus 14.7% vertical recoil. We have the nose dock for the minus 14% ADS time, plus 3% movement speed, and plus 20% ADS movement speed. We have the granulated grip tape for the minus 11.6% ADS bullet spread. With the OWC tack laser for the minus 8% ADS tower and minus 9.2% ADS bullet spread. And finally, we have the uh, 0 .300, 0 .300 RTC double stack 40 round mag for the side disability, the uh, plus, plus 20 damage at range, plus 10 mag capacity, and minus 10 reload time. Yeah. 